In this video, we will be talking about how a supplier can respond to an RFP with a proposal. Now, writing proposals are not always straightforward and there's a lot of back and forth, but requestforproposal.com allows that process to become much more streamlined and as efficient as possible. So let us log in as a supplier to requestproposal.com. login as a supplier. Now you will go to the supplier dashboard where you will see that there is an RFP that you have received from a buyer. It's a private RFP that you, uh, in another video we showed you how to access a private RFP. And you can view that private RFP. So you can see the user's requirements. You can see the summary description of the RFP, you can see what industry it's in, you can see the detailed description. Of course, this is just a demo, so you don't see a lot of details here. You can see that the reply by date is a certain date in the future, and that the RFP expires at an even further future date. And there are a few documents attached. to There's one document attached to this, this RFP, and you can view that document by clicking on the View button. Now suppose you have done all that and you have an idea of how to respond to this proposal, to this RFP with a proposal. You create proposal. So you land on the create proposal page. You will see some basic information about the RFP. Now you can create your proposal with a title so that the both the receiving buyer as well as your team in your supplier organization can understand what the title of the proposal means. So you can, in, in our case, in our case for the demo, we'll call it proposal for the oil and gas requirements RFP. Even though most names should be much more descriptive or clearer than that. And again, for demo purposes, we'll make it a simple summary. A simple detail. Now here you can, if you keep it as draft, it will not be shown to the buyer who requested a response. If you make it published, that's when the buyer sees it. Now you can attach documents to this to this uh, proposal. Now we have already prepared a document that contains some information that the buyer might find useful. Uh, we'll call it a proposal PPT. Now remember that when you attach documents, they can be of certain types only. You cannot attach EXEs, you cannot attach very large files. You can attach PowerPoint slideshows, you can attach uh, a doc, a doc uh, Microsoft Windows Word documents, things like that. You can put a description of what that document holds. Now, in this proposal, we have a second form to fill out. It's a template that the buyer has required us to fill out. Now, if you mouse over, if you take your mouse over the, the, the response box, it'll tell you what to type in, and you have to basically answer these questions. How many years have you been in, uh, has your company been in existence? Well, mine has been around for say five years. Describe uh, how your company fits in the oil and gas sector. We have uh, you, you, you need to make these descriptions very clear and uh, concise because buyers put a great deal of weightage to having these questions answered. But this is again just a demo. Next question is, has your company ever done a project like this so that you've studied the requirements? And if yes, then answer this. When was the last time you delivered this project? Now you might be tempted to answer this as something like this. And when you try to create the proposal, it'll fail because in this particular case, I think 
buyer wants a date so if if you have the date handy uh, type it in if you don't type it in the right format the system will warn you that it should be answered in a particular format then we hit create and since we have selected the published button up here we will uh, be publishing this proposal to the buyer and the buyer will be able to view it but if we want to view our own proposal we can go look at the, the RFP and then we can view the proposal that we just created and there it is we can even view the document that we attached to it the PowerPoint document we attached and there it is That is how a supplier can create a proposal.